the outspoken Remyaga MP Theodore Sechkubo says he does not fear to report to police and is willing to report only if police uses the right channels to summon him. As long as there is an inquest by police, as long as I'm wanted to appear before police, I'll do that. So I have no problem. I'm yet to receive my summons. I'm yet to receive communication officially that I'm wanted. Speaking to journalists today, Sechkubo accused President Jerem Seven for allegedly flouting democratic principles he fought for by attacking the independence of the legislature. But now he's eating the same revolution, the same democracy he says he has, he has helped this country to build. And what is the duty for us? The duty for us is to restrain him. He warned the president that he should not clap down on the legislature, adding that this could bring about a political turmoil. A finger is pointed at the fact that this is an outright abuse of the criminal justice system. The outspoken MP also expressed his regret to support and working for President Chair Seven, whom he says he has failed to stand the test of pressure. I know there is no reason why President Seven must not apply restraint on himself. Absolutely not. He is being challenged as a statesman. And that challenge, the president is apparently failing to stand up to the occasion. So it is to that extent that I find myself regretting. He's been saying that how he's disappointed with NRM. Why can't he resign from NRM? In a related story, Bunyore East Member of Parliament Emmanuel Dombo, who is on the list of those summoned, reported today at the anti-terrorism unit instead of the Criminal Investigations Directorate. He too has denied receiving summons from police, saying he got the information through the media. I haven't got the official summons, but at least I was privileged to read on the media that I'm a wanted person. Julius Senkandua, NTV.